What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Sault Ste. Marie Snow Franchise Mode for NHL 22. If you haven't done it, go down there. And in this one, we are going to be finishing off the regular season. I picked a really great time right before playoff time to get sick. But we're going to power through it. We're going to stay strong and we're going to get this damn thing done and over with. And hopefully we can pull ourselves out of whatever the hell has been happening with this team. We're three and seven in our last ten. So hopefully we can turn that around. We can start playing a whole heck of a lot better. First things last, let's stimulate the first period up against the below 500 New York Rangers. And in the first, it was one nothing New York. Shots 11 apiece. So I'll see you on the ice where we try to get back in this damn game. All right, so here we go. We are the far superior team, but for whatever reason, like I said, this team has been flailing wildly and losing a lot of games the last little while here at MSG Madison Square Garden. The Sioux Snow attempting to change their fortune, turn things around a little bit, and start putting up some wins again as we get closer to the playoffs. This could end up being quite the long video because... We've got to get through the final 14 games of the season in this just this one video. So it is going to be a four-gamer. We are going to be doing a lot of simulating again. There's Yuha Yokella. Nah, we're going to get that one deep. Jermaine Trotter, cut in front of the net. No, he got knocked off it. I was going to say cut in front of the net, but he just did not have the means to do so. And Alexi Lafreniere gets it to Rope Hints. Easy save for Julius Burke. It's terrible. You, like, I swear to God, like... 50 games into the season or whatever it was, our penalty kill was like 86%, and now it's down to 80. So here we go. Marty caught. We're just going to toss that one down the ice, try and kill this thing off the right way. Tate Lock going in. Oh, look at that. Which cat? That must be Marco Casper? No. Is it? It might be. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> here he comes. Gets the fuck to Capo Caco and Yuri Turikov. Kind of ended up getting on the wrong side of that puck. Gets it up to Marty Cott. Marty Cott into the zone. Uh, let's back off. Oh, Turikov, why'd you rush in like that, dude? Oh, back to Timu Curry, back to Yuri Turikov, who winds up for a slapper, but Buddy's just too fast. I almost threw a hit right there. That would have been really bad. Timu Curry gets it back to Cotter. Cotter up to Tate Lock, who fumbles it a little bit. We're going to dump her deep again, get those number twos out there. But Yuri Turikov, I'm just going to back off a little bit first. <laughs> Here we go, what do we got? Willie Wallinder, zero wheels. No wheels, Willie. That's his name now. I picked a good time to come up with that one. No wheel willy. <laughs> I like it. Curtis Chapman at this thing down the ice. And that's going to kill off that power play. We're going to go right back to the number ones, honestly. But they do get it back relatively quickly. We got Nicholas McGratton. You have bad feed, but McGratton recovers. We got to get the second line out there, man. We got like almost nobody on the ice for us right now. Nick McGratton just trying to kind of kill the clock and... Hold the zone a little bit, and Lagerie, I've, <laughs> I've always had trouble with that one. I don't know why. Nice stick by Yuha right in front of the net. But he's coming around. Oh, look at this pickoff. But he fumbles it a little bit before getting it to Cameron Westgarth. Again, bad passing. Okay, Mac, wake up. Wake up, stupid head. Cameron Westgarth gets it to Miles Rintoul. Rintoul just backing off into his own zone, fumbling the puck again. What are we doing here, man? Rylan Austin, just trying to find a way in. Just take a low shot on net. Nah, it's no good. All right, Cameron McDonald. Oh, because it's Adam Flippin' Fox. I'm not allowed to be a hockey player right now. Jeez, I'm crow. Here comes Adam Fox uh, exiting his own zone. Gets it to Anderson Dolan, but that one is going to be offside. We're going to go to the second line, second pairing. Marty caught what a feed to Maxime Grolo. Rushing in. We're going to stop up, cut into the middle. Oh, we got there, baby. Oh, my. Tate Lock puts it in. What? <laughs> Goal number 12 on the season for your assistant captain, Tate Flippin' Lock, man. Holy cow pies. Grolo cuts into the middle, tries to get in front of the net, and actually fumbles it a little bit. And it ends up right on the stick of Tate Lock. Look at the wind-up. Boom! <laughs> Overblown shot, and I love it. Jesus, gorgeous goal. So we're back at center ice, and just like that, my friends, we're all tied up at one, assisted by Maxim Grolo and Marty Cott. Not too damn shazabby. There we go. Zubov gets it to Elon and almost loses it. Yuri Turakov lays his mane down. My goodness. He's a solid young defenseman, I tell you. Here we go. Maxim Grolo behind his own net. Going to whip that one up to Tate Lock. Tate Lock coming through the neutral zone into the zone. Wind and fire again. Gets it back and gets his own rebound. And they got Thatcher Demko in the net. And honestly, I think, uh, no, you know what? We are going to go for line four. 
just for cuz. Look at this, Yuri Turikov. Now he has eight points. He had uh, he had four points in like fifty four games or something. It was a pretty rough rookie season for him. But uh, yeah, that's another thing to remember. We also have Christian Nolan, who hasn't played a single game this season. Brandon Lamb still hanging on to that thing. Back to Curtis Chapman doing spinnerectomies for no reason. Here we go. Yuri Turikov. Oh, baby! What a shot! Through traffic! Holy crap! <laughs> we were just talking about how he had four goals, four assists. Riddle, that his fifth of the year. Look at this. Just a simple wrist shot. And uh, what was that, Brandon Lamb? No, it was Curtis Chapman just with a perfect screen in front of the net. That was gorgeous. And just like that, we got ourselves a 2-1 to one lead. Oh, and look at this, Tate Locke, 99 career goals, 242 points for the, I believe he's 31 years old, 31 year old third line center, one goal shy of 100 in his career for a depth guy. He's had a decent career. He's just like the ultimate penalty killer. Fantastic. I love him. He's the goat. And when he wants to be physical, he's disgusting to play against. Oh man. I think Brett Leeson might've got held up a little long on that one, but no call on the play. Here's Garrett Sterling. I was looking for someone to go to, but just wasn't there. And Nicholas McGratton's going to pick that one up. What do we got? Throw it low shot on net. Ooh, missed. Went wide on the other side. And Yuha Yokela having a lot of trouble hanging on to this puck. And here comes Simone Taival down the ice. Gets the pass across to Lieb. Lieb, big save. Simone Taival with another shot. And Julius Burke holds strong. We're down to the final five minutes of the second period. We'll call him Laguerre. Sure. Vishnevsky. I feel like every single episode. Look at Yokala again with the damn sticks. This guy's an animal. Again, it's like every episode I'm like I've, that we've ever played against that guy. I feel like we've called him something different every time. Oof, that one goes just wide of the net. McGratton picks it up to Brosif and whoa, turning back. It's back to McGratton again. Jesus. McGratton gets it to Miles Rintoul again. We're going to have to change up the defense pretty soon, too. Gets that one up to C-Mac. C-Mac in the zone. Gets around the defenseman. Big shot. Nice blocker save. And we are going to get those number twos out there. And there's Rylan Austin picking off passes. Gets it to Cameron McDonald with a sauce across the crease. And a big save by Thatcher Demko to stop that play. So we're probably only going to get the second defensive pairing out. The third probably will not get on the ice again in this uh, period. But then hopefully we can go a little while without special teams. Tate Lock, nice face-off win. Willie Wallinder, just no wheels at all. Back to Maxime Grolo. Whips it around the net. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. All right. Tate Lock getting knocked around. Never touched the puck once. Low shot on net. Bounces out in front. But the Rangers are able to touch it up and stop the play. And just dumping her down the ice. So Timu Curry is going to have to collect that one behind his own net. Oh, my goodness, Brosif. <laughs> you got to get better with that puck control. And there you go. He, t he stole it away from Adam Fox. That one gets through traffic. And Jesus, we had too many people on this team with like no puck control. They're like all shot or they're like all defense or all something. But like almost none of them have any puck control except for like Rylan Austin, Jermaine Trotter. The oh, <laughs> oh, what a waste. What a damn waste of a power play. Timu Curry back to pick it up again. I believe... Oh my goodness, here we go. Miles Rintoul gets that one up to Jermaine Trotter. Trotter in the zone. We're going to do low shot on it. Bounces out to Cameron McDonald. Just can't control the rebound in that one. Too great defensive play by the New York Rangers. Zubov, we tried to take it off him. Had a lot of trouble, but that is going to kill the second period. That was kind of a long one. That period kind of took a million and a half years, but shots are 22 to 18 in favor of us we went 0 for 2 on the power play but they went 0 for 2 in the first we were tied with 11 shots apiece and in the second we outshot them 11 to 7. the two goals for us in this game tate lock with 12 on the year by grolo and cot and yuri turikov with a gorgeous one by garrett sterling and curtis chapman not too damn bad say so myself so put 20 minutes back on the clock as always and put that New York Rangers player right back in the gosh darn penalty box. I don't think it's for very long though. I think we got a power play for, what is it, like 40, no, 20 seconds, okay. I thought it was a little longer than that. I didn't realize it was only like 20 seconds. Yuri Turikov, defensive defenseman on the power play. Miles Rintoul can't seem to do anything with it. We're just kind of fumbling around here. Bounces out in front of our own net, but Turikov is there. To control that one. Here we go. Jermaine Trotter. We're going to get all the number ones on the ice right now. I know a couple of them already are. 
but we're going to get the rest of them. <laughs> Stopping up. Trotter's got nobody open, nobody trying to get open. And oh, my goodness, man. Yuha Yokella, that puck control is atrocious, my friend. Rylan Austin back to Miles Rintoul. Rintoul stopping up. Let's get it back to Nicholas McGratton back around behind the net to Rylan Austin. Oh, my goodness. Trotter's got it back. Back to Yuha Yokella. Just a, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> this this uh, top defensive pairing's been on the ice way too long. Adam Fox with a big shot just misses. And, oh, man, he don't feel good. They only got, like, one defenseman right now and Lafreniere. So we're just uh, puck protecting, puck protecting. Rylan Austin tries to get it across to Westgarth. Cameron Westgarth in front. Off the crossbar. All right. Willie Wallinder to Curry. Big shot. That one's blocked. And then Curry went to the void for a moment. Oh, bad feed, bad feed, bad feed. Rope hands. Luckily, we had enough guys close by that they were able to kind of cut them off. So here we go. Cameron Westgarth whip it around the net yet again. Rylan Austin picks that one up. Gets it to Cameron McDonald. McDonald through the neutral zone. 13 and a half to go. Right out in front. Oh, I tried to. Th oh, wow. Did he ever get hit there? Right in front to Rylan Austin. Great play. We got to turn back around. Vishnevsky. Oh, I tripped him. Didn't mean to. That was a stupid play. Stupid play. Strong to Fox. Fox gets it over to Lahu. And now they're rushing our zone. Nice. Way to be. Lahu. Back to Casper, knock it off him, and we touched up. Okay, so we're killing a penalty, but we got a great penalty kill when we're actually controlling it. Willie Wallinder, throw it through traffic. All right, all right. Demko just gets low. And now Brandon Lamb's getting roughed up quite a bit, but he kind of gets it back. Brett Leeson almost takes that one away before throwing a hit on Casper. Brandon Lamb knocked that one away again. Chapman knocked that one away again. My goodness, this penalty's over. Anderson Dolan gets it to Casper. Yep, Brett Leeson pulls it out of the pile. Gets it up to Curtis Chapman. Chapman's just rushing that zone. I think Max Jones comes back soon. Whoa! That one took a bounce off a leg. That was actually pretty dangerous. But again, Demko was good. Willie Wallinder. Toss that one deeper to Curtis Chapman. Oh, he's trying to turn around. Sticks all tied up. Knock your man off it and take it. Get your stick back. Jesus. I know his name is Chikrin, but it's like, come on. Brett Leeson pulls that one loose. Gets it back to Garrett Sterling. Sterling. Nice low shot on net again, but again, Thatcher Demko just gets low and just takes it away. Here comes Anderson Dolan, gets it to Simon Tyval in front of the net. Garrett Sterling, good stick again, and Brandon Lamb is absolutely stuck in place. My goodness. Like, he's not that great, but I think he does have like 87 speed, so it's like, this is a little, a little uh, egregious <laughs> that every time we touch the puck, we're just completely stuck in place. Garrett Sterling gets this one over to Brandon Lamb, back to Sterling. Sterling turns back, get it across to Yuri Turikov. Another shot, it worked the first time. Let's try it again, baby. Jermaine Trotter, stop trying to turn the wrong way. Like, intentionally trying to turn the wrong way. And who is that for? And Sivanen is going to pick that one up in his own zone and get it out. But no, he's not because Nick McGratton picks it up instead. Gets it across to Dale Joseph. What a save. Pokes it out in front of the net. Capo, why did we both just run away from it there? <laughs> Oh, man. Trotter did eventually get there. Look at these low shots on net. It seems like Thatcher Demko's real good at finding those low shots on net. So here we go up to Zubov. Zubov enters the Sault Ste. Marie zone. He's doing ninja deeks to nowhere. And if I'm not mistaken, that could be New York's first shot of the period. <laughs> I honestly, like, the defense we've been playing in the third so far has been kind of over, like, unbelievable. It's been pretty redonkulous. Here we go. Cameron Westgarth with a great defensive zone faceoff. Gets it to C-Mac. C-Mac around the net to Rylan Austin. Austin's waiting to find his man, Cameron McDonald, and he's just rushing in, baby. Rushing in, cutting in front, and the backhander's no good. Cameron Westgarth leaves it behind again. Oh, stop doing this. <laughs> it, it is infuriating. McDonald, get your stick back, you stupid douche. What are you doing? Carson Lambos. Back in his own zone, gets it to Rope Hints. Over to Lafreniere. Lafreniere bringing it down the ice towards Julius Burke. And my goodness, we got just a minute and a half to go in this game, and it's all over. Whoa, no, no, no. Let's knock that one out. <laughs> oh, a huge manatee, and we're back in the box. 
for the final 38.4 seconds of the first game. The third period, I gotta say, did go a hell of a lot faster than the second did. The second period, well, we also had some goals in the second period. We haven't had any goals yet in this one. Boom! Big one-timer by Lafreniere. They got an empty net. Carson Lambos gets it to Capo Caco. They're still not getting shots on goal. There's Elin, and in front, that one hits the goal post. Here's Yuri Turikov knocking Capo Caco around, just trying to stay kind of in front of the net, kind of in position. Yuri Turikov kind of oversells on everything. Here we go, empty netter from far away. No, Lambos picks it off. And Yuri Turikov is unable to get a shot through. Here comes Capo Caco again, final 10 seconds. Right in front to end. Julius Burke with a huge poke check. Yuri Turikov again, is that good? Oh no, it just about made it to the post. But that is going to kill the game. A much needed regulation win by the Sault Ste. Marie Snow. Two to one over the New York Rangers. Final shot, 27 to 19. We both went blank on the power play in this game. Oh my God, I was right. We went five and one for the shots <laughs> in the third period. There were no goals scored, so you already know who got everything. See you at the menu. All right, so that was our 40th win of the season. Max Jones is available to play in the team's next game, but I want to look at what his actual return date is. The 16th. It's only the 10th, so our next couple of games are the 12th, 13th, and 15th, so he's probably not going to play in any of these games. We're going to wait until he's fully, fully healed up and rested. Now, the next game we're jumping into, well, we're not jumping into, but simming is against the powerhouse Vancouver Canucks. So here we go. In the first, it is 2-1 Vancouver. Jermaine Trotter got our lone goal, shots 13-11. to 11. In the second, oh, three goals by Sault Ste. Marie. Shots evened up at 22 apiece. And in the third, oh, Berkey lets in a couple. But we win at 5-4, shots 33-32 to 32 for Vancouver. But we hold on for the win, so that's two in a row, folks. Let's go to all events where Jermaine Trotter gets his ninth by Dale Joseph and Nicholas McGratton. In the second, Marty Cott gets number eight by Grolo and Timu Curry. Dale Joseph with number 26 by Jermaine Trotter and Miles Rintoul. Maxim Grolo with his 20th of the year by Tate Lock and Marty Cott. And to top it all off, C Mac gets his 31st by Cameron Westgarth and Rylan Austin. Look at that. Even D Mac for the Vancouver Canucks got a pair of goals in that one. It's too bad we weren't able to get him for our team. He just grew. Grew too well, became too damn good. More responsive menus, right, EA? You press over once and it does it six times. And Nicholas McGratton grew to 85 overall. Let's put Caden Primo in the net. And you know what? We're going to put, uh, who is it, Dundas or Wienerberger? Dundas. Let's put Wienerberger in there. Oh, okay, so this is the second game we are going to simulate up against the Minnesota Wild. And then after that, we're going to jump into the Washington Capitals game before doing... I think we're going to sim like three. That's probably how we'll do it anyway. We're going to do third periods from here on out to end the season. After one, it's 0-0. Shots 11-8 to eight in favor of us. And after two, it's tied at one. C-Mac gets the lone goal. Shots 21-15. to 15. So the lone goal we got was Cameron McDonald's 32nd by Rylan Austin in a 2-1 to one loss. Sorry, I had to cut a bit of that out. Went into a bit of a coughing fit. As I said earlier on in this video, I am sick. All right, we got Julius Burke back in the net. So we are going to be doing third periods from here on out for the rest of the season. We'll do three more games, and we got to sim a whole bunch. After one, it's 0-0 against Washington. Shots 8-6 in favor of them. And after two, it's 1-0 for Washington. Shots 17-14. to So I'll see you guys on the ice to start the third. So again, the Sault Ste. Marie Snow going up against a vastly worse team than we are <laughs> you know like we're so much better than these guys like defensively they're in the 70s we're in the 90s at least it's only one nothing you know what i mean oh sous saint maurice no legend oliver suny throws that one back deep into our corner timu curry takes a bit of a hit to make that play and captain Jermaine trotter gets it out to dale joseph brosif coming into the zone what do we got take the shot oh way wide what are you doing buddy miles rintoul just hanging on to her. Just trying to find a way in. Timu Curry, why are you following me in? Like, what are we doing? Wait, why is Timu Curry even on the ice? Oh, Jermaine Trotter, what a shot! And that's double-digit goals on the season, finally, for the captain of the Sault Ste. Marie Snow, Mr. Jermaine Trotter. 
10th of the year. I can't believe how few goals he got, considering I think last year was his best season for goals. I think he had like 20, what do you like 25 or 26 or something? And Kreider just can't stop that one. This, yeah, see def the defense, the number two defense pairing. They got a whole crap load of energy missing. And that is telling me that we might be without Yuha Yokella. So that's, oh wait, no, no, no. I think we got someone in the box. Okay, so Yuha Yokella is probably in the box for fighting. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Still not great, but <laughs> McIver gets it. Oliver Suni, big save by, who do we have in net? Yeah, it is Julius Burke again. Okay, up to Dale Joseph. Take that shot again. Ooh, low shot. That one almost tricked him, but he was still able to get it. Miles Rintoul throws it around behind the net to Nicholas McGratton. McGratton turning back. Okay, we almost lost that one. What are you doing? Go be, get, go around the net, you dumb shit. What are you doing? Nick McGratton right in front. Oh, backhander just wide. Man, he's taking a lot of abuse here by Alexander Romanov. And Joel Eriksson-Eck brings that one out, gets it to Rose McIver. Over to Joel Eriksson-Eck again. Big shot just wide of the net. Rin Tool's another one taking a lot of abuse right now. Harper. Back at the point, gets it over to Romanov. Romanov back to Harper, who has trouble controlling it. Romanov to Oliver Suni, in front to Eriksson Ek. And a nice stop by Julius Burke. We are going to hold that. Oh, wow, that was no good. Sorry, I wasn't saying anything. The puck had just dropped. I just kind of wasn't doing any commentary for a second, but it was like right off the face-off. Anus. Avery Ennis <laughs> gets it, and an easy goal. To put Washington up two to nothing in this game, or two to one, sorry, in this game. Man, my head is so gone right now. <laughs> Cameron Westgarth, nice faceoff win. Willie Wallinder just looking for anyone to go to. Same with Timu Curry right now. Timu Curry, we're just gonna very gently, for whatever reason, toss that one in behind the net. Rylan Austin giving man some grief, but man is going to be able. To pass that one to Keller and get it out. And here is Hewlett Packard coming down the ice. Backhander by him as well, but that's a mile wide. And Timu Curry pulls it out of the pile. Gets it across to Willie Wallinder, who just kind of tips it ahead. Caulfield gets that one to Hewlett Packard. That one makes it all the way through. Yuha, he is back on the ice. Okay, so that was him in the box for fighting. He's not injured. They were all right. <laughs> Marty Cott going around the net. What do we got? Whoop. Toss that one up to Yuha. Oh, and he's onside. Oh, my God, and he holds it. We're right in front of the net, and Yuha Yokawa puts in his fifth of the season to tie the game at two. Shorthanded, assisted by Tate Locke and Marty Cott, baby. That was beautiful. Yuha Yokawa, what a beast. I like him. I do like him a lot. He's a really bad puck control. You can see he actually fumbled on his way in and then just deeks the goalie out like he's actually got a set of hands. And we're all tied up at two yet again. Beautiful. With a big one-timer. Here we go. Willie Wallinder shoots that one through traffic. Again, low shot on net, but it was a nice stop. Every once in a while, those do work. I do like them. Oh, Leeson just gave it away. And Avery Ennis coming down on Yuri Turakov, who abandons his post. But Miles Rintoul, being the beauty that he is, is able to pick up the slack. And here comes Maxim Grolo having a little trouble with that one. Rolo back to the point. Yuha Yokella. Oh my god, that ricocheted up 37 people, and there's only 12 of them on the ice. That was wild wildness. Here comes Alexander Romanov. Jumps in trying to break that tie, but Dale Joseph pulls it out of the fray and brings her down the ice. Here we go. Brosif gets that one around the net. Nicholas McGratton's going to be there to pick it up on the other side. Back to Brosif. Didn't get tied up. Brosif in front. Get it across to Yuha Yokella, who already has a goal in this game. But cannot get the next one. Watch that stick. Romanov, the way he was puck protecting. Whoops, we got to turn back. Oh, that was bad feed. Very, very bad feed. Okay, nice, nice recovery. McGratton backs that one off to Miles Rintoul. He just gets to center and dumps her deep. We'll go second pairing, second line. And Brosif was going to just run a little interference for that final second before getting off the ice. And Timu Curry's got Hadfield coming down on him and nobody can hold it. What are we doing? Malgin to Hadfield. Hadfield. Uh, over to Rylan Austin. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we're all so stuck on each other. And Marty Nietzsche grabs that one. Can't really control it. We're just poking it away. We stole it. Rylan Austin into the zone. Backs that one off to the point. Willie Wallinder throws that one back around to Cameron McDonald. He's stopping up. He's trying to find an opening. Oh, and he does right in front of the net. Big shot just wide. 
85 or something. I don't know. Chapman. Oh, tries for a ninja move and gets absolutely squashed. Joel Erickson Eck. Coming down the ice again. We got a minute and a half to go in this game. Tied up at two. I would rather not go to overtime because this video is going to be long enough. Tate Lock up to Maxime Grolo. Here we go, baby. Grolo cut in. Can't be done. Using that stick, trying to get it back, but we are unable to do so, and we are in the final minute. Caught, steals it away. Back to you, buddy. Grolo didn't shoot! Oh! I told him to. He just didn't do it. Oh, Rose McIver, Tinkerbell herself. I, zombie, let's go. It's that one around the net from Miles Rintoul up to Marty Cott. Back to Rintoul, and we're just going to carry it. I don't, tr I don't trust uh, Maxime Grolo to hang on to the damn thing. Tate Locke now, right in front. Where are we going? Back to you. Garrett Sterling. Oh, that one didn't make it through. Marty Cott, nice poke, but it's no good. Dubow loses that one promptly. We get that second pairing out. Top line shift one last time. We're going to drop feed. Nicely done to Jermaine Trotter. That was all timing. Back to the point. Willie Wallinder gets it to Timu Curry. Back in front to Nicholas McGratton. Back to Curry. Low, oof, that one might have hit a face. I'm not sure. Nobody reacted. <laughs> and here's Jacina trying to take it out of his own zone to Oliver Suni. But time is going to expire in regulation in this one. So let's check out what the stats are so far. Shots 22 to 20 for Washington. They're 0 for 4 on the power play. We're 0 for 2 on the power play. Shots in this game, 8 to 6 Washington in the first, 9 to 8 Washington in the second, and just 6 to 5 for us in the third. So let's see who's doing all the damage on the scoreboard here. Jermaine Trotter hit double-digit goals in the third by Miles Rintoul and Dale Joseph, and Yuha Yokella gets his fifth of the year by Marty Cott and Tate Flip and lock. So let's get into some overtime. Five minutes, sudden death. Put five minutes on the clock, as not always, but often enough, I guess. So we try to take down the Washington Capitals, really pull ourselves out of the skid we were in, and start climbing back up those standings again. Nice win. Rintoul gets that one across to Trotter. Trotter back around behind the net to McGratton. We're doing good passing. Nobody else is doing very good to getting open. So McGratton takes the shot. That was a tricky one, but a nice stop. Gets it back after a big hit. Gets it to Nick McGratton. McGratton across. No, there's no way that's going to get through. And what just happened? I poke checked the puck forward, and it do. Oh my God! And it didn't do that. <laughs> oh no! We left it behind for Anus. McGratton gets that one to Miles Rintoul. Miles Rintoul coming into the offensive zone. What do we got, baby? Oh, look at this. Look at all this room. Ah, it kind of made it through. Nick, Nick McGratton didn't pick it up until it was behind the goal line, though. Now Jermaine Trotter across. That one slapped. A nice little slap shot, one T, but it didn't make it through all the bodies that were in front of that net. Here's Jermaine Trotter. What? Come on. Like, tell me you're trying not to score without telling me you're trying. You're trying not to score. Rintoul, another shot. It's like they just, they, they don't get into position fast enough. They are dead, so that is also something to think about. Grolo getting knocked around a little bit, but Yuha lays down his man. Yuha's such a monster. Maxime Grolo, we got to stop that one up. Final 20 seconds. Gets it across to Yuha. Yokella with a big one-timer. Just missed the net on that one. Tate Lock. Back to Yuha. Can't really control it. Hard for him to move as well. Gets it across to Grolo, who misses wide. Yokella, you left it behind, and you gave Kreider the opportunity to just pick the damn thing up. Like it were no thing. What are you thinking, buddy? All right. So, what is there? 6.8 seconds to go in overtime. My goodness. Tate Locke. Is that over to Yuha Yokella? Over to Maxime Grolo with a low shot on net. Locke, can you pick it up and get a shot off quick? No. The buzzer goes before it ever left our stick, I believe. So, we're going to a shootout. So... We are the away team, so we are going to be shooting first. We got Cameron McDonald here coming in a little too hot, but hey, we still put her up. He's got 32 goals on the season, and now we've got a 1-0 lead in the shootout. Anus bringing her down the ice. He's going to get a shot off, and Julius Burke comes up big, comes up strong. I like it. Here we go. Brosif, what can we do with you? Let's just pull him off the post and throw it top shelf. Damn, high and wide on that one. So who do they got now? Clayton Keller. Clayton Keller coming in. A Julius Burke. Nice move. 
Nice move. <laughs> so we're all tied up at one. Come on, Austin. We got Rylan Austin coming down the ice. Oh, that was a weird one. What? That, like, my stick, like, didn't do what I wanted it to. But somehow it still works. So Hewlett Packard coming down on Berkey. A save gets us the win. And that was the worst shot I've ever seen. I love it. We get another victory. It is in the shootout. But a victory is a victory is a victory. So I'll see you guys back at the menu. We're going to sim, like, three more games. All right. So here we are. Rylan Austin, his uh, point. Totals have really dropped the last little while, but, I mean, he is still number one on our team. 64 points in 70 games, not too damn bad. Now we're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins, but we're going full simulation for the next three games. So we should be getting, oh, geez, Kaprizov with the Penguins. Well, that's disgusting. Shots 14 to 5. We got one back, though. We're starting to even out the shots a little bit. It's 2 to 1. And in the third, oh, we tied her up, C-Mac, with two third-period goals. And in overtime, nothing happened, so another shootout, I guess. And in the shootout, oh, we took it. Rylan Austin with the great big winner. I love it, man. Cameron West, whoops, Cameron Westgarth with his 21st by C-Mac and Garrett Sterling. For Cameron McDonald gets goals number 33 and 34 by Marty Cott and Timu Curry, Miles Rintoul, and Nicholas McGratton. They even got a goal, and Rylan Austin got the shootout winner. But Sault Ste. Marie legend Keandre Miller got the goal in the third for Pittsburgh. We did love him while he was here. Actually kind of regret getting rid of him. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Taking on the Colorado Avalanche, who have a good record, but are 2-6-2 two, and two in their last 10. So they are falling. They are definitely falling right now. My goodness. So in the first period... It's tied at one. Jermaine Trotter gets our goal. Shots 14 to 7 for Colorado. Jesus. In the second, we pick up the goal. Nicholas McGratton makes a 2 to 1 for Suzanne Marie. And a 3 to 2 victory. We're on a bit of a streak. And they got 41 shots. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> All right. So who got what? Jermaine Trotter with goal number 11 by McGratton and Joseph. Nicholas McGratton with his 21st by Dale Joseph and Dura Jermaine Trotter before Dale Joseph gets his 27th by Nicholas McGratton and Jermaine Trotter. So that was a 100% top line scoring game. We got three goals and all three were the same combination of three people. And now we're 44, 27 and two suddenly still says we're five and five in our last 10, but that's because we went on a hell of a losing streak. And now we're actually starting a little bit of a winning streak. So now we are on the second half of back-to-backs going up against the Baston Bruins here in Sault Ste. Marie. Hopefully we can get ourselves above 500 in our last 10. We're 44, 27, and 2. It's a decent record, but we're looking for 50 wins here. We want 50 wins. After one, it is tied at one. My guy, Brett Leeson, gets the lone goal for Sault Ste. Marie. Again, heavily outshot. Look at this. Jermaine Trotter, we got a lead. Shots are 27 to 9 for Boston. Four to one victory shot. Final shots were 36 to 19, but another victory. Brett Leeson, seventh of the year by Rintoul and Brandon Lamb. Jermaine Trotter, who's on a tear scoring wise by Curtis Chapman. Rylan Austin with number 16 by Cameron Westgarth and Cameron McDonald. And Cameron Westgarth by Cameron McDonald gets his 22nd goal of the season. Ah. <sighs> So now we are going to simulate ahead after we edit some lines. We are going to put Julius Burke back in the net. In the AHL, we're going to leave everybody alone. But the next game we got is up against the, again, very good Dallas Stars. So let's just jump into this next game against the Dallas Stars. We have been on a heck of a run the last little while, and let's hope we can continue on that in this third game of the video, after one period, it's 1-1. Marty Cott gets the lone goal for us. Shots are 10-9 for the Dallas Stars. After two, we're all tied at two. Shots now 21-17 in favor of us. Cameron Westgarth gets a power play goal. I'll see you guys on the ice. All right, so here we go up against the offensively talented Dallas Stars, but the defensively slightly weaker than the Sault Ste. Marie Snow. Dallas Stars here at American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. Leonardo Rowe, he gives us so much grief every damn time we play them. Connor Levis has that one. He's cutting in front, cutting in front. Gets a shot off. Nice glove by Berkey. Let's play that one. Get it out of town. 
Yuhai Yokella gets it to Jermaine Trotter. Oh, captain, my captain. Back to Yokella, who is stuck in place. Jeez, I'm crow. Back up to Jermaine Trotter. Going through center. Oh, they all piled up on each other a little bit there. They got a little bunchy-wunchy. And here comes Trotter. Back out in front. Oh, Yokella. Jesus, that puck control is killing me, dude. Oh, Rintoul. Here we go. Cut in. Get around your man. Get around your man. Get around your man. Get it across to McGratton. And again, he can't hold on to the damn thing. Back to the point. Yuhai Yokella. He had a goal in our last game that we jumped into. Here's Jermaine Trotter around the net to Dale Joseph. Gets tied up. Kick it over. McGratton picks it up. Cuts into the oh, Cuts in front. Big shot. Just wide. High and wide. I don't know if the Dallas Stars Tendy got a piece of that or not. Timu Curry through traffic with a slapper that's no good. And Westgarth gets bumped before he's able to throw anything towards the net. Here comes Gurianov. Dennis Gurianov gets that one over to Nick Cousins. Cousins throws that at the net, and he gets it knocked off, and Willie Wallinder's got to get that puck, and he's got no wheels whatsoever. So here we go, Cameron Westgarth. Oh, look at a little stutter step, little Braden Point action going on here. Trying to cut in. No, we're going to stop up. Backing it off. We got it. Whoop, boom. Oh, they got Stuart Skinner in the net. Okay, okay. Here we go. <laughs> he's going to cover that one up and stop play. We're already over six minutes into the third period of this first game, or this uh, third game, sorry, of the video. Tate Lock on the draw in the offensive zone. We're on a four-game winning streak, so we definitely want to keep that going. And here comes Cousins. Cousins down on Willie Wallinder. That one doesn't make it to the net, but it takes a funky bounce off a skate. And just goes wide. We threw it away. Okay, it's out. It's out. It's out. Trying to take that one out of his own zone. Ooh, that was almost a high stick. We don't want to be doing that now. We're approaching the 10-minute mark. Here comes Andrews. Andrews? Oh, wow. He got his own rebound. That was too close for comfort. Canold gets that one back to Abstrider. Abstrider over to Capusta. Oh, now there, Pustola takes it, but now they're starting to fumble this thing a little bit. Abstrader throws that one wide. Come on, Brandon Lamb, my guy, Brandon Lamb. Throws that one around the net for Yuri Turikov, and he loses it again. <laughs> I notice both teams are doing it really bad, though. That one was a little too close for comfort. Here we go. Chapman, get that one up to Brett Leeson. He's fumbling a lot, but I really love Brett Leeson. He is kind of like my new favorite guy other than like Tate Locke on this team. Brandon, Jesus. What are we doing? Come on, just hit him then. Are you joking with this delayed penalty call right now? You got to be kidding with that. That's terrible. Bad refing. I'm going to I'm going to start pulling uh oh what's his what's his name? The 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 coach for Tampa. <laughs> I'm going to start pulling at him. What do you work for the team? <laughs> do you work for Dallas? Jesus. Moron picks it up behind his own net. We've only got 30 seconds left on this penalty kill. And Garrett Sterling, what do we got? Take that away. There you go. There you go. Denisenko, Grigori Denisenko gets it over to Gurianov to Leonardo Rowe. And Nick Suzuki fires a tricksy one there on Julius Burke, who's got to be sharp. Um, now nah, we're going to, I think we're going to stick with those number twos. Everybody's pretty even, but the number two defense had just a tiny bit more juice. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I think that's the smart course of action right now. Cameron Westgarth. Kicks that one back to Willie Wallinder. Gets it to Garrett Sterling around the net. Oh, my. What kind of flippin' auto animation was that? <laughs> Cameron Westgarth. Jesus. Taking it through. He's pretty tired, so he's not moving too quick right now. But he's holding on to her, though. You got to give him credit. He is holding the thing. Willie Wallinder. Bad puck control. Garrett Sterling throws it into traffic, and Chapman can't do anything with it. Leonardo Rose taking it out. We got to get a flipping line change going here, though, man. Willie Wallinder really getting roughed up and stuff here in his own zone. Gets it up to c -Mac. Here we go. Let's get the number ones on. c -Mac, big shot. Nice stop by Skinner. He's going to hold it again. We got five minutes to go. Now let's get all our number ones on. That's what we need, baby. Jermaine Trotter trying to pull it away from, I'm assuming, Adam Bockfist. <laughs> Or Bokefist, I don't know however you pronounce it. I always, I usually pronounce it Bokefist, but I've heard a lot of people say Bokefist. So, oh, nice feed, nice feed up to Jermaine Trotter, who's just wide open. Gets that low shot on net, Miro Haskin, and loses that one in front of his own net. Nicholas McGratton, and that one actually goes off a skate and almost sneaks right through Stuart Skinner. That would have been unreal. But it did not work out that way. So we are going up with our second line against their fourth. So I, th I figure if we win it back to Curry, low shot on net. Oh, yeah, baby. Low shot on net. Oh, look at that block. Jeez. All right, Curry back to Wallinder. Come on. You got to get control of it. Curry again. Low shot on net. Oh, I don't know how Stu Skinner actually saw that one. If he even did, that could have been a penalty, but it wasn't. All right, here we go. C-Mac, round the net, round the net, round the net. Nope, we're not open. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? We're just killing clock now. We don't even, this is one time 
We don't want to be killing the clock, man. We want to be killing the stars. Let's stop up behind our own net. Timu Curry waiting for people to get on the ice. And Jesus. Cotter gets it up to lock. Tate lock. Oh, look at this guy go to work. Look at this guy. Oh, oh no, he can't hold on to it. And then he kind of gets it back and kind of loses it. Can old lose this thing. You lose this thing. There we go. Tate lock. <laughs> keeping her in the zone. Fifi Dobson able to finally get that one out to Canold. We're in the final minute of this game. All these damn overtimes need to stop. Twistala. Oh, Canold. Jeez. We can't. They uh, they couldn't get a shot on net on that one. That's good for us. Tate Lock takes a monster hit. That was not fun to look at. Maxime Grolo, big shot. Another save by Stuart Skinner. And we're in the final 30 seconds. Still tied at two. Over to Nick McGratton back behind his own net. And then he's got to kind of re recollect himself and get it up to Jermaine Trotter. Does not have a ton of juice left. We're going to do a uh, back pass to the point. Miles Rintoul. Uh, back to Trotter. We're running out of time here. Okay, we got to get in front of the net. Here we go. Trotter backhander wide, and he takes a huge hit in the final seconds of regulation, and we're going to OT a flipping again. Jeez, man. All right, let's take a look at some stats, though. Shots, 31 to 21 in favor of Sault Ste. Marie. We went one for one in the power play. They went one for two in shots. They outshot us 10 to nine in the first. We outshot them 12-7 in the second and 10 to four in the third. Holy crap. We kind of own them in the third. Marty Cott got number nine by Tate Locke and Garrett Sterling. For Cameron Westgarth got number 23 by Dale Joseph and Rylan Austin. So entering overtime, we're hoping we can put together a nice little sequence of events. We can get a quick victory here as we put five minutes back on the clock. Seemingly, as always, as we attempt to just take down the stars. We're on a four, was a four game winning streak, I believe. We want to make it five. And then after, when we start simulating some more games, we want to make it six. And then maybe even seven. That'd be fant- Oh, no! Miles Rintoul somehow makes it back in time. And Denisenko with a point blanker. And Berkey's got to be sharp on that one, man. And Miles Rintoul gets it up to Nick McGratton. McGratton, all oh, those two defensemen kind of bounced off each other. I know it's actually only one of them is an actual defenseman. Leonardo Rowe takes a hit. But Bokvist or Bokvist, whatever his name. Bobak. Oh, what a hit! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. That's mighty. Oh, here we go. Miles Rintoul. Miles Rintoul gets it across to Jermaine Trotter, and it's in. No, they're gonna call it back. Jesus. The captain, Jermaine Trotter. Look at Rintoul. Look at the hustle. He finds him, gets it across. But oh, we got in too close. He nicked his pad. That's coming back. That's totally coming back. Oh, and I hate it. Look at it, though. It's like Puck Protect gets it across. Beauty one-timer, uh, Jermaine Trotter. That would have been his, what is it now? His, like, 11th of the years? I don't even know. Yep. We got the face-off just outside the zone, so they're not counting that one. Miro Haskinen gets it to Connor Levis, getting out of his own zone to Panamarev, but we got C-Mac playing defense again. <laughs> Connor Levis backs it off to Miro. Oh, what a block by C-Mac, and he felt that one. Big slapper by Panamarev. Play it. Oh, it's Willie Wallinder I played it to. There we go. Nice back feed. Gets it to C-Mac. Up to Cameron Westgarth. Westgarth. He's got C-Mac with him. It's a two-on-one. Cuts in front. It's no good. And it bounces right out to the boards. And here's C-Mac again. Right in front. Go for the backhander. Oh, I got nudged. Couldn't do anything with it. Back it off. Ooh, what a move. What a move. What a move. Right in front. No, oh, I got in too tight. That one, if that would have went in, wouldn't have counted either. Oh, nice poke. Turn around. Turn around. Come on, C-Mac. Turn around. Here we go, baby. We're back at her again. No, we're going around the net this time. Gets it in front to Willie Wallinder. Willie Wallinder. Got like no one to go to. Westgarth. I'm trying to wait until like c -Max open on the other side or, you know. Wi oh, wow. What a shot. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to get open. Nobody was getting open. So I was like, screw it. Just throw it at the net. Oh, my God. What a top shelf snip job, baby. There wasn't even really much of a screen, I don't think. But hey, that's a beauty win. We got five in a row. Shots 38 to 23 in this game. There were no penalties in the overtime. The only goal was Cameron McDonald with number 35, baby, by Cameron Westgall, Garth, and Willie Wallinder. No wheels, Willie. See you back at the menu where we're going to simulate two more games. All right, so we are now 7-3-0 in our last 10 games, the 46-27-2 Sault Ste. Marie Snow. 
Going up against the 39, 29, and 6 Anaheim Ducks, who are kind of on a bit of a downslide right now. And we got five wins in a row. So it's going to be interesting to see, can we pull it off? 0-0 after one, shots 11 apiece, very even game so far. And after two, one nothing, baby, Marty caught with a shorty. Shots still even at 18 apiece. Oh, 1-1 one, one after three, so that's another overtime. Wow. After the OT, boom, Cameron Westgar Westgarth. Wow, I'm having trouble with his name today. So Marty Kotz got double dig by Jermaine Trotter and Yuha Yokella and Cameron Westgarth with his 24th by Garrett Sterling in a game. Yet again. So now we're on a six-game winning streak. That's definitely a place you want to be. And we are 76 games into the season, 47, 27, and 2. Let's swap these tendies and let's see what we can accomplish. Berkey, get off. Cam um, what's his name? Caden Primo. We'll put him out there. Wienerberger can hit the net for the AHL. Now we are going to advance day uh, and simulate this game up against the very struggling 1-7-2 and two in their last 10 Toronto Maple Leafs. Not having a good time. After one, two, nothing, baby Austin and Curry. But Toronto is out shooting us. Caden Primo's kind of a beast. Oh, five, nothing after two. Rintoul Austin and Cock at the goals. And in the third, Oh, baby, Curtis Chapman and Jermaine Trotter. They outshot us 32-29. to Caden Primo with a 32-save shutout in a 7-0 victory. Timu Curry with his 11th by Trotter and Joseph. Austin with his 17th by Joseph and Westgarth. Marty Cott in the second period gets his 11th by Sterling and Locke. Rylan Austin with goal number 18 by Marty Cott and Cameron Westgarth. Miles Rintoul with number six by Jermaine Trotter. Jermaine Trotter with number 13, baby, by Nicholas McGratton and Curtis Chapman. Holy crap, with number 14 by Brandon Lamb. Curtis Chapman has turned into a kind of an underrated goal scorer on this team for a depth player. He's 14 goals this year. That's kind of unreal. <laughs> So now we are 9-1 and one in our last 10 games on a 7-game winning streak. And we are jumping in. We're going to keep Caden Primo in the net again here. We are going up against the St. Louis Blues, who again are 2-5-3 and three in their last 10. We're facing mediocre teams one after another. And we have forever. And again, it's 2-0 after one. Dale Joseph and Brett Leeson get the two goals. And it's 3-0 after two. What do we think? Shutout, back-to-back -back shutouts for Caden Primo. I think so, baby. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. Good offense for the Blues, but brutal defense, brutal goaltending. So it's it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to be able to blank these guys. I believe in this team. I think we got a great team. Hey, isn't this like our first home game in like 700 years? We've played nothing but away games for like the last three episodes. It just seems to always work out that way. I've had kind of a system for the last couple episodes. It's like play one, sim two, play one, sim three. G Swifty off the goalpost. Caden Primo got lucky on that one after some brutal defense picking his ass. There is D-Mac here with the controller. And now Miles Rintoul rushing in. What do we got, baby? Get it across to Nick McGrath. What a save. And it comes out the other side. And Lundqvist gets it to Sakara. Sakara brings it down. Yuha Yokella. Oh, my God. He's got Dale Joseph with him, and they're tripping on each other. Primo. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, boy. I shouldn't have done that. Swifty back to the point. Gets a dispense. Farrah Fawcett over to Sakara. Stop hitting. Rintoul just starts hitting people again. Why are we speed bagging people that are nowhere near the puck? Jesus. These stupid teammates they give you. Couldn't pick that one up. Keaton Co. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool that I can remember a lot of their... EA created, like, EA generated players. I can remember a lot of their names. Spence to Keaton Co. Co. Blocked by Turakov. He gets it back afterwards. Turakov has a little trouble with it behind his own net, but he does find Marty Cod. Here we go, baby. Gets it up to Tate Lock. Oh, runs in offside. The worst part is you'll try and, like, back off. And the guy, if he's within, like, 10 feet of the puck, he'll just, like, auto automatically reach for it. It's like, I wish they would fix that. So if you're offside, the guy will lift his stick and not touch the puck. Because I was clearly just trying to back out of the zone. But you're within that, like, 10 feet of the puck. So you'd just auto-reach for it, even if you're offside, right? I wish they would fix that. So if you're offside, your guy will, like, avoid the puck rather than blindly go for it. That was risky, but necessary. Let's kill this clock. We're winning. Boom. Damn. Again, another offside. But there's only 11 seconds left on this penalty kill. So we're doing good. Oh, here comes Riley. Oh, gets knocked off it. And we're back in the box. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought it was a good stick lift. Apparently it was not. It was a slash. So that's no fun. Who are we going to get it to? Oh, I hate when they do that. The guy that's supposed to be, like, watching the point or whatever will just, like, rush in. Here we go. Marty caught. Oh, that one takes a funky bounce. Hammer lining behind his own net. Told you to hit, and you just decided that was not a great idea. Yuha Yokella keeps that one in. He got hit a couple of times. And now we're evening things up, but Tate Lock takes a huge hit to get it over to Marty Cott, who puts in a one-timer on the other side of the net. His 12th of the season, and I'm, like, positive, like, eight of them are shorthanded. Like, he is such a beast. Shorthanded. Tate Lock, Marty Cott, what a pass. And Tate Lock, you got to give him props, man. He's a monster. It's why he's got the A on his jersey. Took a wild hit in getting that pass across, but it worked because of him. Wired at the net, that one's wide. We've killed this penalty off as well. Curtis Chapman, did, was that a trip? No, apparently it wasn't. Maybe the ref didn't see it. Farrah Fawcett brings her down the ice, takes the shot, and that's bouncing around everybody, all kinds of funky-like. Yuha gets that one up to Curtis Chapman, up to Nicholas McGratton, who's just gonna whip that one down the ice. We had like no room to do anything. Let's get those number ones out there. We gotta go with the number two defensive pairing though. Nicholas McGratton, who remains on the ice, gets her to Willie Wallinder, up to Jermaine Trotter. Here's wheels. Here he comes. Oh, I missed it. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's not known for goal scoring, but I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Timu Curry. He's got Swift with him. Fawcett. Oh, my God. It's wide open. It just took a bad roll over to Jay Swift, who's got 25 on the year. Man, what an unfortunate series of events. And Joel Swift. Puts in number 25 for the St. Louis Blues. Look at this. Just hit a skate. Bounced right over to him. Yeah. No. Caden Primo. The shutout bid has been killed, but we're still up 4-1 to one in the third period. But that's just... It's still sad to see. You know what I mean? It's sad. But it is what it is. 11 minutes to go. Up by 3. I like it. Cameron Westgarth with a big face-off win. Yuha with a shot. Nice stop. And Nadelkovic is playing her to old Ernest here. Gets her up to Thomas. Robert Thomas gets it to Greening. He's got Yo Kella backing off, playing defense for him, and they lose control. Good stuff, good stuff. So who do we want to pass to? Oh, old c -Mac, man. He's got a shot on him. Here we go. c -Mac rushes in. Nice shot. Nice stop by Ned. Again, give him a little pad tap, man. Just give him that little pad tap. Always congratulate good work. <laughs> so Barrett Hayton brings her down for the St. Louis Blues. He's trying to deke us out, and Robert Thomas had a really good chance right there. Westgarth knocks it off him. Hemingway almost got knocked, too. Oh, look at this guy go to work. This Miles Rintoul character that I fell in love with a year or so ago. Mm, Rylan Austin. Bring her into the zone. Let's go. Throw it around the net. Tate Lock's got her, baby. Tate Lock. Oh, he had Marty caught with him. Caught still got it. Get it across. Tate Lock, top shelf. I flipping love this line. Oh, baby. Five to one for the Sault Ste. Marie Snow. And we're being outshot 30 to 28. That's Tate Lock's 100th. Oh, baby. We were actually on the ice and we got Tate Lock. Goal number 100 in his career. Oh, so the next milestone for him is going to be 250 points. Don't know that he gets there this year, but he's done good. <laughs> oh, man. That's fantastic. Oh my god, I just saw, as soon as I saw um, Curtis Chapman on that faceoff, I was like, oh my god, the 16th, Max Jones was supposed to come back, and I told, it's like the friggin', <laughs> it's like April 1st at this point, I can't believe I forgot all about him, boom, Brandon Lamb throws the hit, because I, yeah, it's like, oh man, isn't it, I, I, I was just sitting there going like, as soon as I saw his name, I was like, wait, Brett Leeson, for the whole year, was our fourth-line center, right? Well, he was supposed to be, and then it just didn't work out that way. So, yeah, after we're done this game, I would like to apologize to Max Jones and put him back in the lineup because he uh, was very, very good for us when he was in the lineup. But it's like every time we put him back, he would just get hurt again. I think he's played 14 games this year. That's unacceptable. So... With our 5-1 to one lead, we're just killing off some clock now. Get it up to Cameron Westgarth, who backs it off into his own zone before taking a little bit of a hit. Get that one up to C-Mac. C-Mac in the zone. We're late in this one. Who knows? Maybe we can get another one. C-Mac turns that around. We're going to cut into the middle, get it to Miles Rintoul. Oh, off a face. You never want to see it. Rintoul. <laughs> Rylan Austin 
throws a backhander wide, and we we win another one. Wow. So we're on an eight-game winning streak to end the season. I don't know how far we can take this, man, but let's do what we can. So the final shot's 33-29 to 29 in favor of St. Louis, who went 0 for 6 on the power play. We went 0 for 3, but they went 0 for 6. That's twice as bad. They outshot us in the first 9 to 8, 13 to 11 in the second, and 11 to 10 in the third. They outshot us every period. And Marty Cott had a three point night and was a plus three. Not too damn bad. Brett Leeson with goal number eight by Brandon Lamb. Dale Joseph gets 28th by Jermaine Trotter and Tate Locke. Cameron Westgarth by Miles Rintoul and Marty Cott. Then Marty Cott with his 12th by Tate Locke. Then Tate Locke with his 13th by Marty Cott. So both those guys had themselves a flipping night. I tell ya. So let's go back to the menu, simulate those final three games, and then we'll see what's happening in the playoffs, baby. All righty, so there you go. We cracked 100 points on the season. We've basically all but solidified our spot at number two in our division because, yeah, here we go. So Curtis Chapman's going. We're going to put Max Jones right back out there. And then we've got to, uh, we got to uh, change goalies. That's what it is. And probably in the AHL. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. We're just going to leave it the way it is. But yeah, the, the team behind us, which I believe is the Ottawa Senators, are like, what, 12 points behind us in third? So it's like, we, we've got our spot in second. We're going to start the playoffs with home ice advantage, probably against the Senators. Oof, 2 nothing against San Jose. 2 nothing for San Jose against us. 4-2 to two for San Jose. And we're out shooting them heavily, man, in the third. 4-2. to two. So we had an eight-game winning streak, followed by a nasty loss where Cameron Westgarth got goal number 26 by Rylan Austin and Dale Joseph got goal number 29 by Nicholas McGratton. It's sad to see that winning streak come to an end, but all good things come to an end. Yeah, see, no, we're eight points ahead of the Senators, both with three games to go. So we'll see. No, they didn't play another game. We're not hitting first. The other team's 12 points ahead of us. So there's like a huge gap in our division. But now up against the New Jersey Devils, see if we can get that winning our winning ways back. We're out shooting them 13-9 after the first, but no score in the second. It's boom, 3-1. to one. Trotter with two, Austin with another. We're out shooting them 27-21. And to, to cap it all off, 4-1 to one victory. Miles Rintoul with a good one. And uh, Julius Burke finally had himself a damn game here. <laughs> a real good one. Rylan Austin gets goal number 19 by Dale Joseph and Miles Rintoul. Jermaine Trotter with his 14th by Joseph and McGratton, then gets his 15th by Miles Rintoul. And then Miles Rintoul gets his 7th by Trotter and Brandon Lamb. So Rintoul, big game. Trotter, huge game. Other people, not so much, but those guys, real good. <laughs> All right. So we got two more games this season left to go. We'll see how the Senators do. They played their, and they lost it. Okay. So yeah, we're just even that much further ahead of them. So now we got to go up against, again, the struggling Los Angeles Kings. It seems like to end the season off, we're facing mediocre teams all the time, but we're down two to one after one in this one. Dale Joseph got our lone goal in the second. Oof, three to one. Slaney got it past Julius Burke. And in the third, oh, four to three. We mounted a comeback and it wasn't enough. Grolo and Austin get the goals. Four to three. That's two losses. In our last, uh, was it two losses in our last three or whatever the hell it is? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Joseph with his 30th, uh, Austin with his 20th, Grola was 21st. And, you know, Timu Curry, Marty Cott, c -Mac, Trotter, McGratton all get assists in this game. Not too damn bad. So the next thing we got is just the final game of the season. We want to end on a strong note. Oh, Henrik Johansson. He always gets hurt in Sudbre. He's constantly injured. So here we go. Up to the final game of the season with 102 points. We want to finish it with a win. You know what I mean? 50, 29, and 2. Up against the Chicago Blackhawks. Here we go, baby. 2-2 two to two after 1. McGratton and Westgarth get the goals. After 2. Still 2-2. Two to two. We're getting outshot 24-19 to 19 by Chicago. And in the 3rd. Oh, yeah, baby. C-Mac with the game winner in regulation. 31 shots against on Berkey. Nice. It was a good game. So here we go, baby. Who got it? Cameron Westgarth with his 27th by Rylan Austin and Cameron McDonald. Nick McGratton gets his 22nd by Dale Joseph and Jermaine Trotter. And C-Mac finishes the year with a cool 36 goals by Cameron Westgarth and Rylan Austin. Austin. 
So that is a great way to end the season off, getting our 51st win of the year, I believe, as we are about to enter the playoffs. And Sioux player Julius Burke has a torn hamstring. His estimated return is May 26th. Jesus. May 26th. Dude, that's like the end of the third round, or like that's like the Stanley Cup finals. Now we got to call up Bindare Dundas. Jesus. All right, edit lines. Man. So that that hurt. That hurt a lot. So we're going into the playoffs with Caden Primo as our starter through like three rounds. <laughs> oh, that is rough, dude. Are you serious? All right, so now we're going to slow sim through through the days until every team has 82 games played. Still 81. Once everybody, I, I don't want to check stats until everybody's played 82 games, so I can actually see. There you go. And sometimes it'll give you the day, and sometimes it'll be like, NHL season complete. Playoffs now, immediately. So here we go. Rylan Austin did get to 20 goals at a 73-point season, the 29-year-old. 31-year-old Trotter with 71 points. Good year for him. C-Mac was 67. Cameron Westgarth was 64. Not bad. McGratton, 55 points. I like it. Brosa, 54. Tate Lock, baby, with 39. Cotter with also 39. Rintoul had a decent year. Uh, Timu Curry, what a good year. Wallinder was great. Sterling picked it right up. Lamb, one goal. Everybody else uh, looked relatively decent. After Max Jones came back, he didn't get any more points. Yuri Turikov stayed at 80 overall. Jermaine, or Julius Burke, man, 38, 23, and 2 with two shutouts in 63 games, 9, 10, 2.73, and now he's out. But we got Caden Primo, 16, 7, and 0 with a shutout, a 9, 25, and a 2.37 goals against average. And Ben Dare Dundas had his one cup of coffee in the NHL, 9, 31, 2.00 goals against average. Let's see who led the league this year. It was Hanu Hentinen with a 108-point season, followed by Jackie Boy. 102, Edgar Dalton couldn't crack uh, 100 points. Neither could Santiago Leopold. But Austin Matthews, at 36 years old, had a 60-goal season. So that is nothing to shake a stick at. Jaden Karkner, 97. Patty Laine with 97. Nico Heischer with 97. Alex the Cat with 96. And that makes up your top, what is it, nine? Top nine players, I believe. Anyway, so now we're going to simulate one more day and see who we face in the first round of the playoffs, even though it's Ottawa. <laughs> AHL season over. We didn't finish first, but we did finish second. So not bad. So as we start the next episode off without a starting goaltender, we are going up against the Ottawa Senators in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, which will happen in a couple of days. But until then... That is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.